coming to you from the back room of your parents' favorite porn store, it is Cursory Overload. You're listening to Cursory Overload. And we are in this motherfucker. What up, everybody? It is good to be back. How are you doing, man? Oh, it is such an honor to be back. It has been a roller coaster among roller coasters. Hey, for you a know minute when there. You watch those, when you watch those videos of, of those insane <laughs> roller coasters, and you're like, oh, hell no. Uh, the, well, one, the ones that when you're looking at the video, like, I totally ride that. And then once you're in there, once you're at that place, you're like, oh, you know what? Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 the, uh, no. No. Yeah. Kind of like that. Well, yeah. It, it's been it's been kind of crazy around here. It's um, been kind of crazy everywhere. It's like, fuck. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it, you know, for a minute there, uh, like, it, it's been so long since we fucking recorded. I was starting to think we were out of this motherfucker. Yeah, I've been, I've been kind of wondering myself. Uh, I, you know what I, what I mark it up as, I, I, I really truly believe like the world itself is just done with a lot of shit. Like I think we're all just on overwhelmed, <sighs> over every, over everything. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like the, I think the whole world is just like, dude, I need a break. <laughs> We need the blue pill, damn it! This red pill shit is fucking us up. We want to yeah, ho- pull me, pull me back. I, we want to go back to the matrix. We want to <laughs> go back to the go back to the matrix. Fuck this shit. Yeah, that's kind of like uh, I don't know. All right, and well, then, uh, motherfuckers and motherfuckerettes, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are sorry we we've been gone for so long, but like he said, it's been a fucked up roller coaster ride. And, uh, well, we're back, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're back. And uh, we've got some, some cool things to talk about and uh, uh, things to share and whatnot. Uh, I, you know, I think one of the crazy things that's been going on um, is I've been posting a lot on, on social media that I've been doing a yoga thing. Yeah. And uh, I know I've been that. trying to do it about... Three three times a week, I've been trying to do it. I know. I'm like, that's why he doesn't have any time to podcast. That motherfucker's over there doing the namaste thing, and I don't know. Well, I I, I had to do something because I was just getting into a. It, it almost felt like I couldn't, you know, what I mean, like with social media and the news and and politics and shootings and you know the 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 divide that our country's going through. I just got to a point where I just couldn't I couldn't turn it off anymore. Like it was just constant on my mind. And, which I think, I think a lot of Americans are feeling like that right now, you know. Yeah, pretty um, much. So, so I got a invite to go do this yoga thing. So I've I've been doing it, and then uh, I, I recently saw uh, my cousin posted on on social media that he uh, the last ten months he's been going through a weight loss thing. Hmm. And in 10 months, he's down 108 pounds. Whoa, that's fucking awesome. So I reached out to him. And as you know, because, I mean, a lot of our listeners may not know. But the last time I saw you, I I was pretty heavy. Uh, You were what, about 260? No, 280? Oh, no, come on, brother. I appreciate you being so kind. (laughs) The last time I had hit a scale was about a year before I moved out here. So it was about three. Three years ago. Okay. And the scale then said 350. 350. I need about 350. All right. Now, I know for a fact that I had gotten bigger than that. I just, that was the last time I had actually looked at a scale. All right. It was like, once I saw that, I was like, oh, fuck that. You know, now I knew I got bigger. How much bigger, I don't know, but I know I did. And then I kind of, once we moved out here, you know, kind of started losing weight. And then once I started yoga, uh, you know, 
I, I started losing even more. When I started yoga a couple months back, I was like 325. Um, and then I met up with my cousin, and he's been doing this you know, weight loss thing. And I was kind of asking him how he did it, and he turned me on to a program that he's doing. So I started doing this program. Hmm. And now, between yoga and doing this, this, you know, this, uh, I don't want to call it a diet, but it's more like kind of transforming how you how you look at at, at food and whatnot. Food. And uh, between that and yoga, I'm at two ninety eight right now. I think. Oh, that's fucking good, man. Hey, you know it's it's easy to gain it, hard as fuck to lose it. Jesus and, Christ, ain't and, that the truth? And staying disciplined is like, fuck. I mean, I, I guess, you know, for the last, what, 15, maybe, yeah, the last 10, 15 years of my life, I've weighed 250. Or, and uh, when I started working at that place that we don't mention, but that's where we met, dude. I weighed, right. I weighed 250, but I was a size 42. Within a few months of walking around there, somehow I managed to drop down to a size 38. But I stayed mm. 250. And that's been the story, 250 for the longest time. I, I, I'm at 237 now. And uh, the only thing I've been doing is, uh, I guess I'm on the Honda Rebel diet. Or I don't know. Just <laughs> ri- <laughs> riding my bike, dude. It's like, at first, I remember just getting to work. By the time I, I would get to work, I was like, I'm tired already. Just from riding the bike, mm-hmm. I'm like... Now, actually, that doesn't happen anymore. I, I'm actually enjoying riding the bike now. But uh, at first, it was like, wait a minute. I used to love this when I was younger. Now it feels like uh, I'm uh, like work, <laughs> like work. Yeah, like I'm I'm tired. I'm like I don't want to go to places on the bike. I get tired. <laughs> but I don't know. It's been working, and apparently, I don't eat at work, which means I, I go periods of eight to twelve hours without eating. So mm. I was reading somewhere out there that there's like some fasting method that apparently I've been doing it without do, knowing that I'm doing that. I yeah, <laughs> yeah, there is, there is. Yeah. You, you, so you've been doing it With without the, realizing that you're actually doing it. Yeah. I uh, see. Now I tried to do that that mm-hmm. fasting thing, and for my body, I just it didn't work. He, um. He, so mm-hmm. I've been doing this this program I'm on. It's it's kind of pricey, um, but they send me my my meals if you want to call them that mm-hmm. uh, every month, and uh, I get five meat like five small meal kind of things, and uh, I I do a, a one one meal in the evening or in the afternoon whenever I want to do it I I do one meal like one big big meal, um, but yeah so. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think I think give me a couple more, maybe two, three more months, and uh, I should be kind of coming up to where you're at, or at least where you were at. On oh, the two two fifty range, hey, not bad. That's that's where I'm hoping for. Uh, and, and let's put it um, out there in the universe. It, it, it's you know, it, it it you 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 stay disciplined, and in a few months, I mean, uh, I don't know, a few episodes more down the line, hopefully more than a few episodes. I mean, hopefully we're back to recording regularly because, uh, yeah, we'll, we have to be, we'll be, we'll be hearing a different story. Like, Hey, you know, going from 298 to 288, 275, 250. Yeah. I'm, ho- I'm hoping. And, uh, my, my, my first week on this program, I did real good. I lost 11 pounds. Yeah. And then the second week, was when we went down to Florida and we had kind of agreed uh, to put the plan on pause while I was in Florida, kind of just to enjoy things um, and not have to worry about it. Um, yeah. And then, you know, try to try to do healthy, but you know, if I, if I go off plan, then that's okay. And when I came back, I realized I had put on about five pounds during that week, yeah. which overall I was still down, you know, six, six pounds, pounds compared to where I was. In our reality, then, the, we have the tendency to go up and down a few pounds th- throughout the day, dude. It, it happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm learning that. I, like, I, I weighed myself yesterday, and it was 298. And for whatever reason, yesterday afternoon, I got back on the scale, and it said 301, and I about, I about shit my pants. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> Man, I know for a fact I haven't ate that much food. I, yeah. I know I have, you know. 
Um, but then talking with my wife, who's you know in the healthcare field, she says, "No, she says, babe, this is this is completely normal. You know, your body goes up and down throughout the day." And then I woke up this morning, and I was back where I should be. Because sometimes it's not. But, even, it's not so even that's food. kind of been some of the the yeah. the balance or the the roller coaster, if you will, that I've been going through. Yeah. Um, for at least the first two weeks on plan, I had such a hor- horrible headache I could almost come out of my like almost not come out of my room. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, but that was, from what I can learn, that was my body getting rid of all the crap that was in it. Well, you had just to think. Like all I mean, the toxins. Like, uh, so, I, anyways, I, that, that's that been kind of what's been going on. Hmm. All right. Hey, well, like I said, hey, uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep talking about it, monitoring progress, you know, putting you, uh, holding you accountable on air. Hell yeah, I need, I need that. Yeah, so... Um, and uh, I don't know, like I said, me, I just automatically started doing this. It's to the point where I cannot eat when I'm at work because I get drowsy. And you can't get drowsy in your line of work. No. So, I mean, I made the mistake uh, this uh, past, when was that? I was there Wednesday. Um, and I saw the that they, they reopened a little store. Now that I guess things are getting a little bit back to normal, st- still things are starting to reopen so anyway i went in there saw this tgif uh barbecue wings that it, they to be a frozen dinner you know they look pretty good so i ate those uh fift- after eating them i was like okay i'm ready for a nap <laughs> and, and that's this is a problem <laughs> i was like yeah i i can't eat at work I, I shouldn't eat at work that's not that doesn't help so uh yeah let's see uh well, like I said, everything's been work here. I mean, uh, one of the places where I work has been a point of distribution for the vaccine. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, it's almost uh, coming down to an end. Uh, but um, it's funny because it, it, it operates five days a week. But for some reason, the people that really run that show schedule people on days when they're not open. Because, <laughs> because why? Uh, because fuck you. That's why I guess I don't know. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I was talking to somebody there because the last week I had an incident where this old guy, probably late fifties, maybe close to sixty, shows up and he's like, "I'm here for my vaccine." It was a sun. It was Sunday, and I'm like, "Well, come back tomorrow at eight o'clock." He's like, "Why?" Because they're not here today. And then he looks at me. Why are you so mad? Fuck you. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, dude, don't be like that. We love you. Fuck you. All right. We'll see you Monday. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm like, all of a sudden I'm like, he got mad. You could see the expression in his face, but he turned out on me like, why are you so mad? Fuck you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I hope this old guy doesn't come back and shoots up the place. Like, I got a few shots for you, motherfuckers. Hey, right. <laughs> I couldn't I get my for you. I couldn't get my shot, but I'm here to give you a shot, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know. I, I all kinds of shit was going through my mind, but uh, anyway, that that's one of the funky shits that have happened in my line of work lately. And well, you know, a lot of changes. Everybody's, I don't know, pissed about them and. Because I guess that's, I don't really? know, it, we're just going, to, eh, hour changes, shit like that, you know. It happens. Right, right, it, right. It, it, I mean, we've got, it is. We've gone through all that shit. I mean, it's, uh, I guess it's what keeps life interesting. So, um, okay, I guess uh, enough about us. Well, besides uh, life and getting fucked by life, well, what else have k Dog <laughs> has been? Uh, I, I went to, I went to SeaWorld. Motherfucker, look at you. Now, listen, I am all for reopening. Okay, I am all for reopening the country and getting shit back to normal. All right, I've been saying it from day one. This is where I feel. All right. Now, are there flaws with my with my line of thinking? Probably. And I'm not saying there's not. It's just me personally, you know. Yeah. I, I'm more of a kind of a, you know, maybe we need some chlorine in the gene pool anyways. You know, maybe we just need to open everything back up. So down there, when we went to Florida, when we planned everything, we did not realize that we were going down during spring break. Hmm. When most of the country was on spring break uh, is when we went down there. Well, all the major theme parks down there were were sold out, completely sold out. 
No, uh, but we have uh, year-long passes for SeaWorld, so we say, you know, hey, well, we'll just go to SeaWorld and check it out. 